Welcome to Beyond the Press channel. Hi. I'm Lauri. <laughs> I'm Hanna. And our second microphone is broken. And today we are going to do a video where we explode big ass tires with scuba compressor. So stuff that is meant for five bars meets 300 bars. So shit is going to go boom. And this is part two for our last summer's excellent video. And today we are going to do all the weaver request. We have this locking rim tractor wheel and then nobody even asked but we are going to still put one inside of man to see what the hell is going to happen and we are going to start with this one I'm not sure what is the right name but this part comes loose so the tire is easy to install and today it comes loose on the wrong moment it's going to fly like Mach 5 and kill everybody and uh, this tire it doesn't say how many bars it's rated for but let's guess anyway how many bars. I say 45. Okay, I say 50. Okay, so it's like over or under. That's our like guesses. And I saw the setup that we are going to use. And guess what? Our dice project is finally done. The Kickstarter page is live. There is link down in the description. And here is the list of the metals that we have as a start. And yes, we are going to definitely do the tungsten next, if the project does well enough. And you can help the project, of course, by ordering your own. Or just visiting the page is going to help, if you, for some weird reason, don't need one of these. I think every grown-ass man needs a steel dice, if not the tungsten. But yeah, go check it out. Link is down in the description. And now more tire mayhem. Okay, here is the compressor. It goes up to 300 bars. And it has gasoline engine on it. The air intake is far away, so it doesn't suck in the fumes. This is meant to fill scuba bottles. And this is a bit faster than last year's compressor. It says that the maximum power output is 4 kilowatts. So a bit more. I think last year was like 2 kilowatts. Then we have concrete bunker to protect it. This is hydraulic line. And here is the business end. So really simple. And most important part of this video is that you are not going to try this at home. This is extremely dangerous, especially the first one, but also the rest of these. And even regular car tire, when it goes off at like 50 bars, it's going to rip your head off. So don't try this at home. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, we were really surprised, mainly because it went so fast, and secondly, because the rim didn't fail, it was actually the tire, and we didn't even think that the tire is going to fail, because we think, like, everybody thinks that these split rims are so dangerous, but I think it's only when there is, like, some something wrong with the installation because it was just the tire that was the weakest point on this this setup here okay the actual tire was the weak point not the rim because this is like it's still on its place but this ripped open from here and i think our worker it's okay might have some ringing on the ears and we are ready to move on the next stunt also, the new compressor is really fast. That was 20 bars in like a couple of minutes. So today we don't have to wait the whole day to get the bigger ones exploded. As a next stunt, we tried to explode this thing over here, but the tire kept leaking. We couldn't seal it enough for the high pressures. So we skipped this and move on to this. And this looks amazing. It's a big ass tractor tire that just barely fits to the van and we weren't sure like can we even explode this will it take like three hours but after we saw how fast the compressor was we were completely sure that we can make this one go the tire is perfect size it just fits between the floor and the beam on the roof of course it's going to stretch a little bit when we fill it up but the roof is going to also stretch 
And of course, we are going to close the doors. Henry actually thought that we are going to keep the doors open. Yes, because I thought we will see how tire fly just uh, after the blast. Yeah, but it's it's going to fly through the van. Yeah, hopefully. Uh, indeed. But I still I want to, I yeah. want to know what I want to see how yeah. the, uh, the tire start to expand. Yeah. yeah, we have seen that already last summer. So now, some time to try something new. Oh, we saw that. Yeah. Okay. okay, now everything is ready. I have one camera here, lot of there. Henko has cameras everywhere. Then of course, of course we have sit lot of GoPros inside of the van. I have one here. And then we are going to be behind the uh, concrete walls because shit is going to fly. Okay, and then the high speed, and this was actually surprising, the doors didn't fly. I was completely sure that the back doors, they will fly, like far away. But then I started to think about this more, and there is like a couple kilograms of air inside of the tire, and when the tire opens from somewhere, that two kilograms of air, it accelerates to roughly the speed of sound, and when two kilograms is traveling at speed of sound, it really doesn't want to change its direction. Even if it's like air, it doesn't matter, it has still a lot of momentum. So it didn't just have time to open the doors, it just wanted to keep going where it was going and that was outside of the <laughs> side of the van. This was really, really like interesting and I learned a lot. I didn't like realize this before. I think it's going to like squeeze it away and find the weak spot that is the doors. Okay, will it move? What yeah, dead butter. We need like jump starter. No niin! Onks päällä? No niin! Ha <laughs> <laughs> 